Good afternoon, and welcome to My World Science, where we explore how science synergizes with various elements in our lives. Knowledge is power, and we hope to inspire you to use scientific knowledge to make your life and the world around you a better place. Imagine this serene location, green grass as far as the eye can see, the wind delicately brushing your cheeks, the warm sun blanketing your body and love and compassion, the magical healing power of golf. I'm Noah Kittle, and welcome to My World Science. Welcome to our show, Carlos Rodriguez, PGA professional, Vietnam War veteran, and head golf instructor at Heroes Golf Course in Brentwood, California. A Nobel laureate once said that you can only influence learning by facilitating how students learn, not necessarily what they learn. Located in the heart of veteran land at Heroes Golf Course with his company, LA Golf Academy, Carlos has opened his heart and experience to both veterans and civilians with a curiosity and passion for golf. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Before we get into the healing power of golf, I would like to discuss your journey. Uh, you've been almost accepted into Major League Baseball. Of course, you've been in the Vietnam War. And then you went to golfing. When did you fall in love with sports first? Well, my first love for sports was playing stickball in the backyard. Stickball. Stick East Coast game. Um, being from Puerto Rico, baseball has always been my true love. Um, as a young kid, peewee ball and stickball were went hand in hand. If you did one, you did the other. Um, then I experienced Vietnam. It changed my whole concept of sports in general. I've done many other sports aside from baseball, which we could get into later. But um, to answer your question, I. I I can't remember, I cannot remember not playing some sport or other in my youth as a peewee and junior and senior and player. Are games. They are games. Life is a game. So then Vietnam, then I came back and for, I guess, to recoup, I, I went from baseball and not being able to play baseball again for various reasons. I chose golf because it's it's an outdoor sport yeah. and it's tranquil and you kind of get to reassess who you are and so to answer your question I've always been in love still am in love with sports and here we are yep. and you're in fact you're the head of that golf course and of a company of golf That's yeah cool. well my wife and I uh, run the LA Golf Academy out of the Heroes Golf Course, which I am the head pro. And there I get to kind of impact or try and help some of the vets uh, that are struggling and needing an out. And I think golf is a good way of facilitating that and helping them facilitate whatever goals they have. Um. Let's see. I have a little <laughs> surprise video oh, of no. me. Anyway, in the British Journal of Sports Medicine in 2016, they were able to find a relationship between golf and health because of being around trees and green. Um, and I guess you've actually seen probably direct evidence of this benefiting people, haven't you? I've seen it benefit uh, veteran golfers, which I spend a lot of time with whom I spend a lot of time with. And um, I think it's really 
a way to get back in touch with yourself. Being able, it's a game. You put, you're not. It's it's not a competitive game in that you're competing against a person. Right. You're competing against the golf course, and it's it's much more difficult than it sounds. Oh yeah. But it gives you many venues: integrity, honesty, perseverance, empathy, and a few others. And and that's from my era of Vietnam. I uh, had a hard time coping with it, but the one thing that they did have was the ability to uh, connect sports and self-needs, uh, intertwine them to help them pull themselves out of certain situations, not all, but those that I deal with from Vietnam love the game because it brings them back to the question of why, why am I here, why am right. I doing this? And it's gratifying to a lot of them, and a lot of them stick with it, not all, but a majority. You think there's other sports that can do what golf does? Well, it's not for me to put down other sports, okay, but I think golf true. has a unique ability to help you self-regulate, because yeah. you're, you're the judge and executioner. Yes. You either call or stroke on yourself or you don't. Mm -hmm. But then when you get back to wherever you are, um, wherever you live, whether you live on campus or off campus, you, you reflect on it. And some vets really come back and, and realize, yeah, this is, this is cool. I can, I can either lie to myself or not lie to myself. But either yeah. way, I have to confront myself. So. Mm -hmm. um, that's proof positive there. Yeah, so. That's really amazing. And now we're going to go into a little bit of the technique of golf. I don't, we don't really have that much ability to really show physical form here on the show. However, you can talk about the club face and how much you know about the angles of the ball and all of that importance with being Well, stable. I know the ball is round, so yes. I don't know any other angles. But the angles of the club... Uh, I think uh, a deficiency in most teachers now, I think, it's that we rely too much on technology and the computer doing mm -hmm. the work for us yeah. instead of referencing what we have inside and what we've learned, which is that every club in the bag, which should be 14, <laughs> no more, uh, has a certain law, trajectory, configuration, but every club's a right angle. And if we can connect a right angle to a sphere, which is round, then we have an understanding of how the clubs yeah. work and, and, and why they do what they do from, from a sand wedge to a driver. And if, if, if we were to focus on that instead of technical and Mm -hmm. ability, then maybe we might find it more enjoyable. Oh, you're talking about golf. like all the golf ads about clubs, new clubs, you know, maxing out the stats and everywhere. Right. But, then, but they're all 90 degrees, no matter yeah. how you look at it. It has a club face, a head, and a toe. Essentially, to improve the most in golf, you have to take it slow. You have to be able to self-analyze uh, and self-critique and know exactly what you're doing wrong. So that way you can build on that or change it and then build on that exactly, and be better. Exactly. Instead of just swinging and then seeing where it goes and that's it. Well, most, most of what, most of golf is counterintuitive because we're strikers and we're on mm -hmm. linear planes and golf is more of a, you, know, you deal more with arcs and recentering. Uh, a 90 degree stick. Yeah. If it comes in open, it goes to the right. If it comes in close, it goes to the left. Once a slice, once a hook. And when you're, you, re you relate the club to the ball, uh, then you start to understand a little more about the physics of the game, why the equipment is the way it is. And for somebody who is completely new to golf, has not 
picked up a club in their life, not even mini putt, I mean, it doesn't really count, but <laughs> it is putting. I understand. Uh, what should they do? Well, I would say come see me, but that's it. That's <laughs> inappropriate. Little... Go see one of your local pros um, because, uh, believe it or not, PGA pros do know what they're doing. Mm. Um, <laughs> we're, we're trained to see things. Uh, I just wish that more of us would not want to focus on who they are uh. instead of what they can give. And we can, that could be another discussion yes. at some other time. <laughs> right. But basically, I think that you should go to your pro and, you know, Any le local, leave your, go ahead, I'm sorry. Any local golf course, I guess. That you can Any local golf course, yeah. Rent a club. Yes. Don't go out and buy equipment because yeah. you might not use it. Right, yeah. most of us, so. <laughs> Only dedicate how much you're going to dedicate, I suppose. Well, I think you should dedicate time, but you, you have to dedicate the time with, with, uh, not with, but being realistically of the amount of time that it takes because understanding people learn on different levels. You have visual, you have audible, you have yes. kinetic learners. But um, we learn differently, different rates. But patience is the key to the game, like any, any other sport. But what makes golf unique is that you can, you can accelerate or decelerate your right. growth in the game according to the time you put in it. That's it, and it's not all repetition. It's it's understanding. How often do you enjoy a shot? Rarely. You take a shot, you make you put it close to the pin, you jump in, you're screaming, you forget about it, and that's it. You I I'm a believer of keeping a record mm -hmm. of everything you do in the game especially on a competitive level, whether it's high school, junior high school, for, to middle school, you should start keeping a record of everything you do. Miss putt, right. move ball, anything, okay. because it, it, it teaches you how to have good recall yes. and the ability to store memory. Ah, so, recall. And, right. And I think this is a, a, an aspect of the game that's missing. and. Uh, through the LA Golf Academy, um, I try and facilitate that aspect. And hopefully I'm doing a good job, I don't know, but um, I, I know that the veterans are better for it and they come and they attend classes and they're thankful. And a good teacher is there for the student, not for himself, so yeah. I don't know if that fits in question you asked I've even forgotten it so no. that's good yeah okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome yeah I think we're gonna segue it now off Carlos is there a time where you saw a specific person really go through a change uh, under your watch or even just in golf at all as a matter of fact, yes. Um, I had a young student um, whose grandfather brought him uh, to the golf course. He was very shy. Um, I didn't understand why he was so shy mm -hmm. um, at first because uh, he kept peeking from behind his dad's, oh. uh, from behind his dad, he kept peeking at me. And um, I won't use his name because I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think it's important, but um, he finally comes out after a little prodding. I'm showing him a, a golf club and demonstrating how it's used. And, and he reaches out for the club and, um, I noticed that he had some physical uh, oh. uh, uh, disabilities. And my reaction was to just keep the flow and see what's going on. And 
Uh, we did, and after a few minutes, he came out, and he had he had a few difficult difficulties physically, and so instead of breaking the connection, we just kind of kept it flowing, and he was really he was six years old, so oh, oh okay. Uh, so he comes out and um, I, I introduce myself. He introduced himself, well, his grandfather did. And his grandfather stated um, that he's very shy. And so we played with that for a little bit. And after a while, we got the lesson done. And I've known him ever since. Mm -hmm. And now he's actually in one of the junior colleges for wow. uh, bro, uh, sports casting. Wow, that's pretty good. And uh, the connection was so profound to me, and I, I assumed to him because we still know each other. He's 15, 16 years old now, and he, he plays golf, and he got into college, and he I remember once asking him what he wanted to do, and he said he wanted to be a sportscaster. Uh, and you know, he's he's a I'm I'm really blessed to have known him and got to experience his short journey to this mm -hmm. point. But I'm real happy too because he's he's an outstanding individual. Has he perseveres? He a lot of integrity and he learned it all through golf. Yeah. And I'm really happy about that. And I think most of us can learn from mm -hmm. uh, students like that. So that's, that's an example of how uh, someone benefited from proper yeah. guidance through the game of golf. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today at My World Science. If you need some peace or serenity in your life, head straight to your closest golf course. Thank you, Carlos, for being here today. Thank you for having me. Really had a great time with you here. Please follow us on Twitter or Instagram at MyWorldScience. And until next time, think inquisitively.